Go to seven persons this morning and tell them I'm moving from glory to glory. I don't know about you. Moving from glory to glory. I don't know about you. Moving from glory to glory. I don't know about you. Father, we thank you. We've come to Zion, Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the church of the firstborn, the place of innumerable company of angels, to God, the judge of all, and Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, to the spirit of just men made perfect. To the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Lord, any time we appear before your presence, there are always presents. Some of us, it is instructions we are going to receive for directions. Some of us are going to receive healing. Others are going to receive clarifications. Some others will receive positive ideas that will engineer us into our next level. I ask this morning that your spirit speaks to us expressly so that we shall be transformed by the word we are going to hear. Open our hearts. Open our ears. Circumcise our minds. That every word that will come out this morning will be words spoken from you. That will bring life and vitalize our mortal and our spirit being. Take glory and honor to the praise of your name the father the son the holy spirit put your hands together for jesus amen amen <laughs> Never <laughs> You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You've got times and seasons in your head. You caught for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. God, by your mercy, you have called me your own you are God you are God from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God all by yourself you are God from beginning to the end there's no place for argument, is it? You are all by yourself. You've got times and seasons in your head. You've called for 
you inhabit the praise of your children let something new happen in our lives through this meeting in Jesus the most powerful name we prayed God bless you please be seated can you put those hands together I believe you are excited to be in the land of the living I believe you are happy I believe your heart is exhilarating with joy let me hear your loud clap the louder this clap the quicker your miracle will come amen we are going to be working on a very fantastic topic this month i'm excited about it is a topic that a lot of believers a lot of ministers have not paid attention to but while jesus was on earth he made a lot of references concerning this topic and then all through the scriptures the bible tells us that this topic is of great importance so this month we are going to be looking on what i captioned money code money code you can clap louder than that some people are saying hey, you are doing like you are very spiritual i say clap amen money code tell somebody by your side money code tell the person money code tell the person are you ready for some cash are you ready for it tell that person are you ready to learn from the holy spirit how to make some cash what did the person tell you? The Bible says money answered all things. Money does what? Is it some things? Is it few things? Is it many things? How many things? How many things? Is it most things? Money answered all things. The one that wrote this is the creator of the whole earth. He understands the importance of money. Proverbs Ecclesiastes 10:19. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answer it. How many things? All things. It is God's will for your life to be productive. It is God's will for your life to have more than enough. You know the problem of Christianity? We have tried to separate money from righteousness. You know, when someone is super productive, it's like the person has backslided. When a lady is a career woman, having so much money, what comes to mind in the mind of a lot of ignorant believers is who knows who she's sleeping with when a believer is prosperous it is assumed that this person must have cut corners so we are we have limited our mindset that money is not for us as a matter of fact the lord will be shocking you this month money answer it all things if you don't have money on earth you will not make heaven well write it down number two if you don't have money your chances of making heaven will be too slim I'm telling you this is from the Holy Spirit if you don't have money your chances of making heaven will be slim you may make heaven, 
but it will be slim. Some people will say, ah, but money is the root of all evil. No, sir. It is the root of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. But the lack of it is the top root of all offense. You want to see an offended man. See a man that is in lack. Projects become simple. There are, there are a lot of things you wouldn't be looking into when God blesses you with money. Am I talking to somebody here? You won't be looking into what is the change, the balance remaining. You won't be an unnecessary headmaster in your family. How much did you spend? How did you spend this money? Your wife will just need to tell you, I need to, we need to cook. Oh, what, what? The kind of food? Add the soup. Okay. How much? 10K. <laughs> That's sister. Okay, so 10, 10K will be enough. Okay. Go to my wardrobe. Take some money there. And the lady goes there. You see ladies, how happy they are. And the lady goes there and then sees some, you know, there is 100,000, 100,000. You know? I mean, that 10 case because there are some things at home. Oh. I want to cook, sweetheart. How much? 4,000. For what? You're always screaming. Your child says, Daddy, I want to eat biscuit at a money. <laughs> no. You need money, man. Tell that person by your side, you need money, man. <laughs> there are a couple of things you won't have to start checking and checking. You know what I mean? I have been there. I have been there. I discovered the, that the more money you have, the more at ease you, you become. Uh, you will stop checking some things. You know what I mean? I was thinking, I was praying, Lord, deliver me from the spirit of Ikwe Honu so much. I discovered it was poverty that was dealing with me. You know how much? Won't you sell it like this? I'm not buying again. You will go, 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 and the person is not calling you back. You will come back. You say, it's like you are not serious to sell. When there is money, drama will disappear. You need some money, man. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. That a man is not a loud one. Amen. Imagine how glorious it will be that you tell your wife, I, I feel like all spending a vacation in Canada. Just sit out for two weeks. Just look around. Go to shops. You know, women love shopping. Go to shop, you know get some things, cool off what sides if you come back your love the love of your wife for you will skyrocket I did tell you it's no joke this thing we are talking, don't think we are talking out of the scriptures to skyrocket money is the lubricant of love what did I say? If you don't have money, don't worry. God will prosper you. We are going to be releasing the grace for it. Let not your heart skip. Somebody has got to make this money. And then I want to tell you, one of the mistakes a lot of people make, and that's why there are few money in circulation, is that women think that money making is the duty of the man. The woman also is a money maker. Money making machine. If you have ability to incubate a child for nine months, then you have even more capacity to incubate prosperity. God has given you capacity. You must become productive as a woman. Become productive. Ask God for wisdom, for witty invention, healthy thoughts, 
positive demeanors. Genesis 2 and verse 10. Let us see something important. Man was not created to have one means of income. It's in the Bible. If you have one means of income, then you are not living at your best. It's the scripture. A river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted. Remember, it was a river that moved. It was what? It was what? You can be taking it off. When I want to read it, I can read it. Always do that. A river went out of Eden. It started as one source of income. Maybe this person be, 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 begins a business. And this business becomes mighty. Look at what the Lord wants you to do. He wants that river to turn into streams of income. Bring it back. A river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads. That is streams of income. The next verse. The name of the first is Pison. That is it which compassed the whole land of Havila where there is gold. So this guy began a business and immediately started doing well. He diversified into gold. Give, give, me, give me the next verse. And the gold of that land is good. There is delium and awning stone. The next verse. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hidekel. That is it which goeth towards the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. So God created man to have at least four sources of income. At least. Minimum. That Eden is your life. Remember, it can begin as one river. But you must wait for that river to, for that little water to become a river before you can make it have four heads. Oh. Am I talking to somebody here? This thing is CEO class. Master class. It's not, it's not for children. That's why it is an error to be in this month's teaching and just listen. You must write. This thing took me nine years to build. I was writing the school of money. And from that, this ex this word came. There are a couple of things the Lord took me through. Consistent study of scriptures and great people that arrived prosperity in scriptures. We are going to be looking at these things. So God created man to have at least four sources of income. But look at the problem we have. Don't because you want to have four sources of income when your, your river, when the water is still so small, you begin to diversify. You will make a mistake. Become established first in what you are doing and then diversify. You must diversify. It's a must. That is when money begins to work for you. When money comes from different sources, different streams. Now, if you are a lady, you are working. You are working. You are a teacher. Morning till 3 p.m. You can look for something around your yard, your neighborhood you can be doing. You can look for something around your community you can be doing. Read 
visit your environment. Before we started Census Church, I took up a, a pen and a paper and wrote the kind of people that live around here. I saw that this place is Catholic dominated. And then one, it's not the kind of ministry you run in independence lot you can run around here at the earliest onset of our ministry. People here may not then want so much knowledge, so much wisdom. What they need is science. So what do you do? You know the gift that is prominent you have to enthrone. And then when they come, you can bring in the other gifts. Like teachings and the rest of it. Imagine a ministry in Amici that just keep on teaching. Telling people, you know, 21 steps of success. You know, you climb the ladder of success and you grow your business. Brother. 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 Go from shop right down and do that one. You have to study your environment. The problem we have as business people, entrepreneurs, is that we don't hear the voice of our environment. Your environment is speaking needs every day. When you hear the voice of the need of your environment and interpret it, you become a rich man. Listen to the voice of your environment. There is money around you. There is money around you. There is money around you. It's money. Money is around you. Money is around you. Money is around you. Now, I eat this thing they call grape. You know, little, little grape. You know, they are small. They are very costly. You know what I mean? And then there is this piece that is like gova. How many of us know, know what I'm talking about? Good. That thing is, that grape is fine. But it won't move in terms of market if you sell it around that kebugu or abugo. Are you understanding it? It's a good business, thriving business, but you must study your environment. If you sell it in abugo, brother, <laughs> uh, what, what are they doing with it? If I want to sell something in abugo, what do I need to sell? Ewa. If you sell Ewa in a market in Imo State, you will fail. Listen to the voice of your environment. Prayer is not everything. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't pray when you should be thinking. When you pray alone, you become a burden to God. You need thoughts. You need reasoning. You may need to find out time and walk around. Ask questions. Prayer does not substitute for advice. Ask questions. Even God say, come, let us reason together. It means that reasoning is essential and even quintessential to success. So man was created to have at least four sources of income. Whether you are a pastor, all this full time, I'm a full time minister, you've got to be productive. You've got to be productive. Paul was a full time minister and a tent maker. It will make you not to be dependent on one of the streams of income of my life is daily glory devotional, it's a stream of income. Writing is a stream of income. Yes. If they give you two books of Bishop David Oyedepo and just say, mm, just have the royalty of the book, you can't be poor in life. One book alone, that book, healing, healing, uh, a book on healing, made about 1.6 billion in less than one year. You know, there are people that say, ah, oh, these people that eat tight. No, sir. Those men have gone far. one book he has written over 60 and they say that's the 19th that's 
that's how they're able to run free medical you know that express where they are kilometers around that place anyone that has accident that does anything that has any sickness around is treated free that's how they're able to run that free medical outreach give 150 persons free education in covenant university every year books it doesn't touch it streams of income streams of income streams of income you need money oh lift up your right hand and say oh lord i need money my father i need money make it a prayer make it a prayer may god answer us in jesus name i didn't hear a loud amen uh -huh. may he answer us streams of income so God wants you to think he wants you to listen to your environment why a lot of people are looking for immigration jobs custom jobs all of those jobs jobs in oil company there are things around those needs that can give us more money than the person working in custom for instance why a lot of people are have graduated you are very intelligent there is no job why don't you move into fashion designing go and learn it i mean high tech listen to me anyone that must prosper must have endurance and patience so we are coming to that i'm not talking about the kind of thing you go to learn two months you are done that's the problem we have once you're able to carry clothes and put scissors you are you have started sewing you have is it not also it's not also clothes forget it now that's how they will give you clothes you will place black here place yellow and place green in the name of designing let me tell you something before we painted our school it took me four weeks on the internet thank god that internet has become very important four weeks on the internet I know I saw something like something like green in a vision. I didn't see the rest. I needed to know the color that blends to it. And then I keep searching. One day somebody told me, why don't you start that you? Just search, search and then go to sleep. Search, search, go to sleep. I got a 20 leaves for it. And then I was just writing color that will match this, color that will match this, color that will match this and i did something that is horrible in the sight of people when i finally assembled two colors that were confusing me about green and this or this i sent them with two thousand i think three thousand for each drum i said go and buy me three one that light green i saw and then the second one get me these two colors so they said are you a painter now I just came. Rub this on the floor. Just massy. Make it a little bit massy. Make this. Do this. Do this. I was watching. It's not the best of the techniques. But if you must grow, you must be patient. Don't be in a hurry. There are people that are fine painters. I'm not talking about the kind of painter that Pastor Tux is. I can paint. No, that's not the kind of painting we are talking about. He's good in carpentry. Very good. Like, he's very good. But I know if, if I want to do screening, I can't give it to him. Even if he's speaking in tongues. Mashakata, daddy, I will do it. I will tell him, Mama Mamaka, you cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> take out 
time to perfect take out time to perfect in what you are doing while you wait for service you can go and learn painting one thing about skill acquisition is that it can never go wrong anything you know if you are a tailor and then you are not into tailoring anymore one day you'll be preparing for service and something will happen maybe your clothes will do ah uh -huh. it will be difficult houses are built in Enugu every day who clean those houses who are professional cleaners that go to say I can clean up this house with such an amount of money all of Abani road to Amobia you have only one serious bookshop only one money is around us money is speaking can you hear the voice of your environment once you interpret this voice you are going to become super productive can i show us what you must do to become blessed number one seek righteousness Psalms 37 verse 25 Psalms 37 verse 25 I have been young and now I'm old yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread nor his seed doing what? verse 26 he is ever merciful and lend it and his seed is blessed righteousness is key to prosperity do you need money do you believe god for financial lifting righteousness is key when you seek righteousness you will keep god's commandment and when you keep God's commandment, you are entitled to his prosperity. 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse 3. 1 Kings 2 and verse 3. 1 Kings 2, 3. And keep the child of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways. To keep his status. And his commandment and his judgment and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper so when you keep the status of God prosperity come in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself so prosperity is the exclusive reserve of those who seek righteousness Seek after righteousness. Psalms chapter 84 and verse 11. Psalms 84 and verse 11. For the Lord is a son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly give me verse 12 no good thing will he withhold the next verse from them that walk uprightly oh lord of hosts blessed is the man that trusted in thee so when you seek after righteousness the bible says don't don't fight for what you will eat because after these things do the gentiles seek after but seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness so you must do the first thing first you must seek God you must apprehend his righteousness that's how God gives you creative thoughts witty inventions powerful ideas
Leviticus 26 and verse 3. I'll read verse 3, verse 4 and verse 5. Leviticus 26 and verse 3. If you walk in my status and keep my commandments and do them, verse 4. Then I will give you rain in due season. Say amen. amen. And the land shall yield an increase. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. The next verse. And your threshing floor shall reach unto the vintage. Your threshing shall reach unto the vintage. And the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. Can I have it in, in NLT? NLT, New Living Translation. Your threshing season will overlap. Give it to me, message. Let us see the word threshing. You will thresh. That is, you will harvest. That's the word I'm looking for. Until the grape harvest and the grape harvest will continue until planting time. That is, you will have more than enough till you plant again. You will have more than enough to eat. And we live safe and secure in your land. Righteousness. Righteousness. A lot are to be said on righteousness. But because of time, let's go to number two. Number two, understand who you are. Now, uh, let me say this. Every man on earth has more than one gifting. The gift of a man makes a way for him and brings him before kings. Have you discovered what you know how to do? Some of them can be skills. Let me take David as a case study. Brother David, can somebody tell me what David was good in? Number one, eh? Eh? playing guitar. He was a guitarist. In fact, it was, it was his guitarism. <laughs> this is what? It was his guitarism. His skills in playing guitar that brought him to the king first. Evil spirit will always come on the man. They say there is a little boy when he plays. And King Saul used to love songs. So how did he meet the king first? Playing guitar. They said that the first wife or the second wife, sorry, of Zeke, he married her when she danced. And then he said, I can't miss this one. What do you know? Anything you know how good to do is not something. Anything you know to do well is not something you should play with. Like you sing. That's, that voice is not there for you to be practicing. Rehearsing in the bathroom. Start thinking of how to produce music from it. If not, it will be like a mango tree that produces this year. You eat all of the balls this year. Next year it produces again. But you can also take that mango and make it a juice. So you can take mango fruit at any time of the season. No how to take that gift and transform it into cash. Take the gift and do what? Take the gift and do what? This is gift. This is cash money. There is a journey from here to here. This is process. This process brings product. A lot of people are gifted, but they don't want to walk this route. Discover who you are. What are you good in? Jeremiah 1.5 
We are still coming back to Brother David. Jeremiah 1 5. Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of the day, I had holy plans for you. What were these plans? A prophet to the nations. That's what I had in mind for you. This man, Jeremiah, knew who he was. Who are you? When you talk about shaping football in the next century, you will talk about Messi and Ronaldo. When you talk about real estate, you will talk about Donald Trump. When you talk about light, light bulbs, you will talk about Michael Faraday. When you talk about some of these great things like tennis, you will talk about Serena Williams. What are you good at? David was good in playing harps. What again? Eh? He was a shepherd. That's another stream of income. What again? Eh? He was a composer. Is he not the one that wrote all these psalms? The guy was a composer. Look at what happened. Everything he was good at, we see all of them manifest in scriptures. With guitar, he gained the heart of Saul. With singing, he gained the heart of God. And not only that, his being a shepherd gave him skills in leadership. He was a skilled shepherd and he was a warrior for streams and all of these things produced at some point in his life he led the people to war and recovered both his wives and the land that had been plundered discover your prominent gifting you have a gift and other gifts you may, your gift listen to me your gift may also be part of the skills you have acquired gift is not only when you know how to sing i discovered that there are people who didn't learn so much of electrical appliances and they are doing it well it's like they have direction where to go to why don't you perfect in it you know how to drive you didn't learn it so much are you not thinking you could have a transportation company? You could be greater than God is good. There is nothing God put in you that is in vain. You are a beautiful cook. You can train people and have a very great business that majors in cooking great one one good thing about these streams of income is that you must not be directly involved in all of them just keep inspecting them inspect what you expect never start a business your eyes will not be in listen what did i say it's it's in fact you have killed it the Bible says, for the eyes of the Lord runs to and fro the earth. God doesn't leave the earth. His eyes are always to and fro. Your eyes must be to and fro in your business. Listen to me. Oh. In business, T-R-U-S-T -T does not exist. What did I say? Does not what? My brother is doing block industry. He supplies blocks. For the building we are building. If he brings it, they count it to the last. So don't offload until a counter is there. Are you suspecting your brother? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Has he done anything to be suspicious? No. But Look at this. Somebody is saying, what is he saying? 
if your father borrows money from you, sign an agreement. Stop employing your family members. Those who cannot fire, don't hire them. Business is not sentiment. Stop it. God is not a sentimental God. Moses was crying. Christ said, stop crying, my friend. Do something with the rod you have in your hand. <laughs> this one is hard talk hard talk hard talk hard talk hard talk your sister say hey, I want to borrow money from you once it is borrowed you say no problem you want to give it to her okay how much 100k <laughs> Julie Julie my sister sign here Oh, see, why am I why am I signing? Oh, that a fear home. Oh, see, it, it beat him the hundred thousand. I can't remember. You know, there are people that are formed that they have amnesia. These are the worst people. And they, like, hey, it go go. It's a way to you sign here. You are doing business. You can't bring every member of your family. God will help me this month so you don't misunderstand me. It's good though. It's good to help people, but make sure you are standing before you start helping. <laughs> Do you know why Africans start well and they don't end well? Once you've made 300,000 and you make a little shaking, just a little movement, responsibility that will come to you will reach 30 million. <laughs> okay, some people are not happy now. They, they say it's easy. I, I, I we still believers. I we still believers. Trust. Listen to me, brother. If your business must do well, take away trust. Let your eye be in the thing. And this lady, you know, this lady. The half, somebody will say how many business have you done look at what you are saying we've done businesses now a couple of them we have bookshop people that hear the voice of the Holy Spirit know you are a prophet eat your money then who are you in fact the more quiet the person is the more suspicious you should become There are a lot of you that open businesses for people. You are praying in church. God is saying. And he keeps showing you signs. This person steals from you. And then comes to say, Madam, in fact, we remo. Madam, we remie didima. Am go we mo. How you say he has confessed? Look at how you do business. When the person confesses, sack the person. <laughs> Some are not happy now. <laughs> you think that the devil didn't want to repent. God says, stay on earth and repent. Aye. You are in your business place. Somebody is leading rebellion. The person is in the nam the carnal of your establishment in a negative way. Every time is the person that will lead some people and say, Ah, Oga. All of us have agreed though. We there is a pastor I sacked from Census Church. Now look, you won't see him now. Hey, so you know my own is that I talk, I, I'm not afraid, I don't fear. I say, like seriously, sack him. It's not a joke. This person will keep, if you want to, listen to me, you don't correct leadership. Your correction is in form of subjection. And the person is still in your shop. The person is still in your establishment. And you are praying. You don't need mental deliverance. You are not even taking stock of your business. In six months, no stock. You take the person.
exchange word for it because you come the person is always opening revelation 22 verse 12 and they say jesus jesus you think you have gotten woman being my brother in that jesus verify it because not all those who mention the name of the lord <laughs> oh this place some people are angry now oh they are angry now they are angry now eh? should i still write on let's close it for today <laughs> if you are if you are not angry be showing it you are staying somehow are you are you not angry Sir, you go ahead. Verify. Take stock once in a month. Make the person know your eye is there. Just appear one and say, get the books, get me the books. And then you say, the tin tomatoes are how many? 18. How, much, how many have you sold? Six. You just bring the tin tomatoes. One, two, three, four, eleven. Where is one? says mm -mm, i don't where is one listen to me the cost of this thing tomatoes is 400 naira if i don't get it i will take out 1000 from your salary when you say it do it oh the person begs do it cut the salary it's not wickedness it's not wickedness when you say it do it do it don't use sentiment in business the salary have unannounced checks in the establishment unannounced hey some people are saying pastor Biakwazo. in wisdom crest you come late you pay so i even love late comers sometimes you see that people come late and they have come late to the point that you have one person's salary that is good for the business one lady in one month four thousand something was the doctor he came and said she came and said daddy daddy please i said mommy what is that say daddy four thousand something salary ma you say mommy please continue coming late like this there is nothing i can do if you want to build an establishment your policies must be strong as a leader when you are noticed to be a weak person you are failed stand to your feet wherever you are ah, ha, 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 ha. it's just getting started it's just getting started it's just getting started hmm. Father, you are glorious, so glorious in your will. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are terrible, so terrible in your will. I enter the holy of holies. I enter to the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you holy. I enter to honor your name, Lord, I 